Hello YouTube. Uh, it is a very cold Sunday in February. Um, I'm really not motivated to do any of the work that I have to do outside and there's a lot of work to do outside but uh, basically uh, one of the best upgrades that I ever did to the garage a natural gas heater. Oh it is so toasty and warm in here. Oh. And of course when it's cold outside there's always 50 million projects you gotta do and little ticky things um, uh, to fill your time and uh, it's been a load of that today. I changed the uh, oil and the air compressor uh, I had a whole bunch of uh, spare bandsaw blades that needed oiling so that they wouldn't rust. Uh, but the big project is did a little more work on the drill press. Uh, after the VFD uh, drive update, uh, I needed to tram the table. And uh, tramming the table, uh, let me walk you through that. Uh, the table and then of course you've got the uh, drill bed and or the chuck. Um, but to make sure that uh, your holes are completely perpendicular, the table has to be completely perpendicular uh, to the chuck. And of course the table can tilt this way, it can tilt forward, uh, which means any holes you put in uh, uh, your metal or wood stock uh, obviously would have angles or slants to them and uh, um, the object of what you're shooting for unless you adjust the table accordingly is to have a complete perpendicular um, uh, a completely perpendicular hole. Now drill presses aren't precision machine tools. Uh, mills and lathes are, and we're talking fractions of thousands of inches uh, when those are trammed and centered and aligned correctly. A drill press, meh, you're, you know, you're going to get perpendicular, you're going to get perpendicular by a few thousandths of an inch. But uh, uh, this one I spent about an hour, hour and a half getting it square, and I'm going to show you what the what the run out of oh sorry, uh, what the indicator has on them. Now the drill table has a nice little protractor over here, so that you can adjust it side to side like this relatively uh, easily. Uh, the front to back there is no adjustment front to back, so what you have to do is you have to shim the top or the bottom. Uh, with aluminum foil and it required a little bit of aluminum foil uh, shoved in there and basically <laughs> you put the aluminum foil in there, tighten it up, measure it, not enough, put in some more, too much, take it out. It's a very, very time consuming process. But now to the grand finale. Check out the run out here. Alright, there we go. There's the dial indicator and as we go around the table over here to the other side. And we're back to where we started. That right there is pretty good for a drill press. Uh, probably uh, uh, two thousandths, maybe three thousandths run out front to back. There is no run out front to back, side to side, uh, but the table uh, probably has some inconsistencies in it and wasn't exactly uh, milled completely perpendicular to the various other pieces. But that's pretty good. I uh, spent a little bit of time getting that square today and no better project uh, than to work on tramming a drill press table uh, when it's five degrees outside and uh, inhospitable to human activity. Alright, that's it. Thanks. Bye.